So you may need to pause this video and zoom in if you need to be able to see this anchor chart really well. But I wanna talk about what your essay needs to include this week. So um, over the next two days, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and you're gonna finish it Thursday if you, if you don't get it done by Wednesday, you're gonna take a prompt from the beginning to the end. That is your goal this week for your grade. So, and I want it to include all of the things that we have now discussed of what goes in an essay. So it has to start with a hook. It has to start with a question or a dialogue or a setting, an automatopoeia or just something funny on your topic, but it's gotta have a hook. It has to catch the reader's attention. So you have to have a hook. That's your very first sentence in your paper. Then you're going to put your, uh, your topic sentence. Coffee is my favorite drink because, okay? Um, and then I would tell my three reasons. Coffee is my favorite drink because it wakes me up. I like the different flavors. And most of all, it keeps me energized, okay? So I could talk about how it wakes me up in the morning and how I drink it all the way to school. And I'm just so tired because baby Barrett sleeps in the bed still. And then I could talk about reason three, it keeps me energized through the day. So I might talk about how in the afternoons during my last class, I have to have another cup of coffee to give me that energy to be a mom for the rest of the afternoon. And sometimes at seven o'clock at night, I need another cup of coffee to keep me going. And so I have lots of examples here. I could talk about the different kinds of coffee that I like to drink. Then I'm going to go into my three reasons and give examples for each one. And then I'm going to use um, in a conclusion. And let me grab the chart. Remember, in a conclusion, I restate my topic. It doesn't have to be exactly like this, and it doesn't have to have all the reasons this time. Um, it can just say, as you can tell, coffee is my favorite drink of all time. And then maybe my last sentence says, go get yourself a Starbucks latte or something like that. So you just want to end with a hope or a wish. Um, I had somebody in class that wrote about their grandfather. And so when they're, they're very in one, their conclusion, they said, my grandfather is my best friend. I hope that you have a grandparent as special as I do. And so that was it. That was the conclusion. Two sentences, a topic and then a well wish or a hope at the end and that's it so um a hook your topic sentence that's two sentences in your introduction that's it then you go down to your three paragraphs give us your three reasons with an example for each reason and then give me your two sentence conclusion those are the things i'm going to be grading on did you have a hook that's going to be worth so many points did you have a topic sentence that's going to be worth so many points did you have three paragraphs with a reason and an example and a two sentence conclusion? Topic sentence and then wrap it up. So those are the things I expect in your writing this week. Do not think it all has to be done in one day. Maybe the first day you're gonna come up with your idea, you're gonna plan it out and you're just gonna write your conclusion. Day two, you're just gonna write your three reasons. And then that last day you're gonna write your conclusion and, and check it over and make sure it sounds good. So break it up into parts. Think about what your speed of writing is and then break it up by days of what you want to do for your writing.